time for me, Mommy with Style. And today I'm going to sit down and do a chatty vlog. And I actually kind of felt compelled to do this chatty vlog after we just had the week that we had, which you'll see those vlogs coming up the next couple days. But I wanted to go ahead and preemptively talk about being okay and it's okay to not be okay going through this whole situation. And I think that everyone's processing right now and processing a lot of different emotions. And so I wanted to basically talk about that. Obviously, I'm prefacing my videos that are coming up because we had some ups and downs, but I also wanted to say that, you know, I have this kind of general attitude that it'll all work out in the end, one way or the other, even if it's not what I ideally had hoped or had thought was going to work out, it will work out somehow. And so, even though I can let things get me down temporarily, that's kind of what helps me stay positive over the long run. But I also wanted to do a video and address this because I've seen a lot of great like memes being shared like you know and like checklists by you know things you can do to brighten your day by like listening to music and buying yourself flowers occasionally and I wanted to talk about those things and also say it's okay to not be okay in a situation that's completely foreign and completely new. It's like anything else in life when you're tossed into something especially something like this that's completely unexpected for all of us it's okay for it not to be okay and for you to deal with a range of emotions and process that as you go along. It's like when you're moving to a new state and everything is foreign to you and it's new and you're having to learn your way around and you just kind of have these moments where you get frustrated. It's okay, you have to take those feelings and kind of work through them so that way you can get back to a better point. And so I wanted to talk today about kind of how I help myself stay positive and some of the things that I'm doing right now while we are social distancing and kind of quarantined at home. Now I can still go out and do our grocery shopping. In fact, I went out today and like grocery shopping now feels like a, you know, holiday from the house. But it does get really old being around the house all the time. And those of you that are stay-at-home moms, you probably understand that that like Sometimes it's just nice to kind of get out and change scenery. So one of the things that we've been doing is going for a Jeep ride occasionally, and that's still loud in our state. Like we can just go out for like a little Sunday drive at five o'clock when my husband's done with work. And it's really kind of helped us to get the fresh air, you know, kind of feel the wind blow on our face and get a change of scenery. It's not allowed in all states right now, but in our state it is, so that's definitely helped. Um, another thing is is that I'm still like getting dressed every day like I'm not just like hanging out in my house in pajamas Absolutely no judgment if that's how you're hanging out like that's super cool for me um, Getting dressed in some sort of clothing like I have like comfy jeans and like tank top At least changing what I'm in in the morning and going through my usual routine of putting makeup on The one thing I have stopped doing is flat ironing my hair every day one because it saves time and two because it's easier on my hair So that I have cut out but if you have like those specific rituals, like for me, like I don't feel like I'm ready until I put makeup on. Like I have to put makeup on to feel ready. And so I'm continuing to do that every day. And so that really helps when you can go through those motions and do that every day. Actually, I just thought of act the other thing that I'm doing every day is I'm putting on perfume. I don't need to put on perfume. I'm not leaving the house. I'm not trying to impress anyone here. Not that I wear it to impress anyone, but you know what I'm saying? It just helps me feel complete. So I'm still doing that. Now the one thing that you may have noticed in the vlogs that I have stopped doing intentionally, I put my jewelry on before this vlog, but I have stopped wearing jewelry, especially if I'm planning on going outside the house. The reason why I did that is just with the extra amount of hand washing that we're doing, not that we didn't wash our hands a lot anyways, but with the extra amount of hand washing and the extra hand sanitizer and that going on, it's a lot of wear and tear on the stuff on my hands, but then also I'm not wearing any jewelry out because I don't want to inadvertently touch anything and then, you know, end up with germs on my jewelry and it just, it eliminates that scenario. So I have consciously made that decision and that was a conscious decision that I normally would always wear my jewelry every day, but I have a reason why I'm not doing it. So that's okay too. It's a different situation. It's a different time. Um, you know, there's no... There's no like one size fits all solution for things like this. There's really not. You have to really kind of tune into yourself and figure out like, you know, if you're having a week where it's just a tough week and getting a thing of tulips when you're out at the store would be helpful, then, you know, you can tune into your own kind of solutions there. But 
the thing that I did want to say is some of the things that help me kind of perk me up is making sure that I have like those rituals or those routines that I do when I feel ready. I do those. And then I do make sure, because we, we do this when we're here, but since we're in the house all the time now, we open all the blinds during the day and then we close them at night. That's typically how we would do it on the weekends anyways, but I just try to get as much natural light in the house. And then even on the kids' homeschool schedule, I've scheduled a recess in the morning and in the afternoon and at lunch, we try to sit outside and eat if snacks, try to sit outside and eat if it's nice. Just trying to get outside, change the scenery and get as much fresh air as possible. Um, you know, I really enjoy the learning of home stuff. So as you'll see in some of the upcoming videos, some of my highs and lows are my changing of work schedule and just taking on all of the learning at home. And it was really stressing me out to have to work and the learning at home. I've now come to a resolution, just a spoiler alert, I've now come to a resolution on that where I can focus on the learning at home for a while. Um, and I think I say it in the in the video where it's resolved, but just another spoiler alert. I'm not laid off completely from my job, but we are furloughed for a time period and it pretty much matches up with the school year being out. So I can now kind of focus my attention on homeschooling, which is good in this situation. It's not my ideal situation, but this is not an ideal situation type of time. And it's okay to process those emotions. I mean, I had a lot of emotions when their school closed and you're going to see that video coming up. And it, it was tough because I knew the whole series of things that would follow after that. But going through those emotions got me to the point of acceptance. So I guess my point is, is don't push it down. Don't deny yourself the ability to go through the motions if you have to. It's okay to not be okay. I mean, this is a very abnormal situation. It's gonna go on for a little while and um, you know, there's gonna be hurdles as we go along. The one thing that we haven't had yet and I send my well wishes to you and I really hope that none of you are having to deal with, but obviously the whole thing with this situation is there's a whole lot of people out there that are dealing with health issues on top of all this. And so then that's a whole nother thing. Luckily, we are not in a case right now where we are dealing with that part, but that is, you know, a whole thing there of trying to not catch this virus that's going around and you still go through the scenarios in your mind of like, what if? And every little cough that happens, like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have picked up that loaf of bread. <laughs> this is the end. But um, I think that if you're generally a positive person, if you can kind of refocus yourself on looking at what is good and you know the positives, you know, so for me, my job was affected, but at least I still have a connection with my workplace and it's not like they just canned everyone. Um, my husband is still able to work from home, so that's a huge positive in the scenario. The kids are not in my ideal for them learning scenario of being able to learn at school and have their friends there, but at least we'll have some connection with their teachers that'll be a little bit of help for the end of the year. I'm hoping they work out some sort of Zoom thing or like where they can see their classmates. So I don't know how they're gonna handle that. So we don't know that information yet. Um, so like everyone else, we're kind of just waiting for information. And it really is like a day by day and week by week scenario. So I'd love it if you can share some of your kind of helpful strategies down below that help you cheer up. Even just turning on music can make a huge difference to perk up your attitude. We definitely try to keep your house as bright with natural light as you can. Try to take breaks and go outside if you can. Try to you know keep those parts of your ritual routines that really kind of make a huge difference to you. Like so for me, it's getting dressed in a certain like realm of clothing, like getting out of pajamas and then putting on my makeup like I just kind of feel like I have to do those things or I'm not complete and then I mean I'm not gonna lie I have treated myself a couple times and trying not to go crazy because obviously you'll probably see in this situation we're fortunate we still have my husband's full income and we have been a one income family before so we can adjust to that but it's you know, something you'll probably see me talking about savings more and just being more cognizant of what we're spending and where we can save. And I'll try to come up with some video ideas of how you can maybe save doing different things. I wanna come up with some crafting and learning at home ideas, things you can just find around your house that you maybe not have to go out and buy. 
So I'm just going to try to think in those terms and hopefully it'll be helpful. Um, but I have treated myself like little treats here and there. I'll share those coming up. But you know, you're going to know in your situation what you are able to do. You know, if it's buying flowers or maybe just getting a cute sticky note set or, or whatever um, is most, I, I got myself the, <laughs> okay, we'll just use this as an example. So I ordered Natalie her Shop Disney stuff um, that she got with her report card mini and I, I do have some Disney gift cards so I'll share some of the stuff that I got with the Disney gift cards. But I also, on her order, got myself these little note cards. I didn't get them for any other reason than I just got it to kind of cheer myself up. It was a, you know, fairly inexpensive purchase. We already had an order coming from Shop Disney. I'm pretty sure it put us over some threshold of getting, you know, some money off or whatever. They were doing like a percent off deal at that point. Um, but then these are little note cards that I can like send notes to people in my family or she can use it to write a note to her teacher or her friends or whatever and pen pal back and forth. And so they're useful too. So that's just, I'm trying to be cognizant of when I'm splurging or getting myself a little happy as I call it. Um, it's something useful. It's something that makes sense. And you know, some, like I have another thing that my, my camera is sitting on a couple sponge gel boxes. I ordered myself, actually before any of this started, but we'll just use this as an example. It's taking it a while to get here because one of the things was on back order, but I ordered myself a number of the sponge gel sponges. I really enjoy those and those are like a little, just kind of treat for me. Do I have to have them? You know, if we had to go like bare bones, cut back our budget to like nothing extra, no, I would not order those. But that was like my little treat happy when this was all starting, I ordered it about a month ago. Um, anyhow. Long story short is we're all gonna have different ways that we're coping with this, but I wanna let you know, it's okay to not be okay. I think it's important that you recognize that, but then it's also important to, to recognize that a lot of people are going through similar, similar situations and we're all just gonna try and help each other pull through. So if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know down in the comments and please share some of your kind of tips to bring positivity and to remain positive. If that's something that you try to do, share those down below. I'd love to hear kind of how you treat yourself or how you kind of cheer yourself up or how you um, get back to that point of, okay, it'll be okay, just rolling with it. Um, I'd love to kind of open the comments up down and have some discussion down below to see how we can help each other. Um, that being said, let me know what other videos I can do. I am going to try to come up with some ideas about, you know, crafts and things you can do around the house from things that you don't have to go buy and different ideas like that. I may even try to get creative. I am not a cook and you guys know that, but I may even try to get creative and show you like pantry meals only. <laughs> I don't really know if you want that from me. It's going to come out of a can. But um, yeah, we're, we're all going through this. We're just trying to find the best way forward. It's the best thing that we can do is to support each other, try to limit negative, negativity, especially towards each other, and just try to make it through. Um, so everyone hang in there. And I love you all. Thank you, for, thank you for watching. And I will see you in vlogs coming up later this next week. Have a great day.